What is up everyone, it is Lost Pixel here again and welcome to another Destiny Rise of Iron video. Today is Tuesday which means it's weekly reset day and let's see what the weekly reset brings for us. Let's just jump straight into the Crucible uh, modes here. Uh, as you can see it's Inferno Supremacy as the weekly um, along with, let me go and check it actually, it is going to be Salvage this time. So those two together for those legendary marks and let's move on to the second crucible which is the daily let's just say it's control there we go daily story as usual and the siva crisis heroic strike playlist uh, let's see what the modifiers are today is going to be heroic as usual specialist yet again specialist seems to be on most weeks on either the heroic or the nightfall don't know why that is but i like it because it's beastly you get those snipers out or shotguns and absolutely rinse the enemies and i can see ones coming up here that are going to be painful it is exposure guardian shields are increased but do not replenish which is a pain in the ass because you as soon as you get those shields off it takes an absolute age to get them back so make sure you're hiding behind cover and getting rid of those enemies quickly so moving on we have airborne players deal more damage while in the air you can use uh, exotics for staying up in the air along with uh, those perks on the warlock where you can stay up in the air so i guess you could use them if you want to to help with that damage uh, so moving on to the nightfall uh, we have the wretched eye it's going to be a pain in the arse because you can see the perks already it is epic which is the usual one but as you can see it's arc burn Art burn damage uh, from any source is greatly increased, which is a pain because the shanks at the end just own you with their arc cannons. So it's just a nightmare. So make sure you're using that cheese spot in the uh, top corner to prevent that from happening. Move on, we have Brawler, which is Guardian Melee damage is greatly increased. Not bad, quite useful actually. Uh, we have Ironclad, more enemies have shields. What an absolute bitch this uh, Nightfall is this week. Arc burn. Wretched Eye and Ironclad, along with, as you can see, Exposure. Wow, okay. So, absolute rinse machine at the end. We've got to have to be very careful and make sure you're using that cheese spot if you're going solo in the Nightfall. Anyway, moving on, we're going to be going visiting Shax for his weekly bounty. Right, so we're going over to Shaxy Boy here and let's see what his weekly bounty is for us for that exotic chance. I'm presuming it's going to be something supremacy related. And it is indeed, so as you can see, it's use, uh, exercise, exercise your skills in the supremacy match type. Match is complete primary kills, kill credits and crest denied. Really, really easy to do this week actually. It's probably the easiest one because you can just run around with it. Obviously the mapador and just rinse people and get those crests and kill people with it. But make sure you're using that primary too. Don't be a little, uh, little noob now. And uh, make sure you're using the primaries to get that 50 primary kills. Anyway, we're going to be moving on to Tyra Khan and Shiro's bounties. Unfortunately, no Iron Banner in the Iron Temple this week. But anyway, let's see what Tyra Khan's artifacts have for us. Get rid of this bloody engram. Come on now. Uh, hopefully, they'll be good. It is the Memory of Timur, which is melee attacks on minions, on minor minions of the Darkness even, have the chance to temporarily turn the target against its allies. A really, really useful um, artifact for PvE. Definitely pick this one up if you haven't already. And as you can see, it has strength on it, looking like a really good roll on strength, actually. Uh, not 100% on that, but it looks really nice. Uh, moving on, we have the Memory of Radagast, uh, which is the gain the ability to reflect energy-based energy projectiles while guarding with a sword. Increase sword ammo capacity. Not the most useful, actually. I do say so myself. I'm not really going to pick this one up, but that roll... Does look nice indeed. That discipline strength roll 7680 looks really decent. So maybe pick that one up if you're looking to use that at some point. But moving on, we have the memory of Gillian, which grants a detailed radar. Radar persists when sighting with primary weapons. So this basically grants you third eye. Not the best, but not the worst. So maybe pick that up if you love that third eye and need to use that radar at all times. But anyway, let's move on to Shiro 4's bounties for this week. I'm presuming, yet again, as usual, he's going to be rocking some Archon's Forge ones. He just loves it. He loves that Archon's Forge for some reason. He absolutely loves it. Let's see what he's rocking. So, first of all, we've got to use Iron Axe or... Use the Iron Axe or powerful enemy weapons to decimate hostile threats, which can be done in Archon's Forge. Um, patrols in the Plague Lands can't be done in Archon's Forge, but... 
I, this is the crappiest one actually because patrols are just a nightmare, but never mind. Moving on, Shank encounters in Archon's Forge. Not a surprise there. And finally, Vandal encounters in the Archon's Forge. What a surprise, Shiro, yet again with the surprises of the Archon's Forge bounties. But pick those up if you want that thorn. Anyway. Anyway guys, we come to the end of this weekly reset video. Make sure you leave a like, um, it really helps me out, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this content. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.